My name is uh, Jaume Ventura, I'm a researcher at CREI, a professor at the Universitat Pompeu Fabra and also a professor at the Barcelona GSE. I work in macro and international economics and I'm here to talk about my project on globalization, economic policy and the uh, structure of the state. The goal of this project is to study the effects of globalization on the state. Globalization is an extension of markets. Uh, markets are expanding all over the world. We trade more goods uh, with more people farther away. In a sense, the borders of the market have been expanding very fast. The borders, the cultural borders, are remaining more or less the original ones. And the question is, as there is this mismatch between the market borders and the state borders, and the cultural borders, how does the state react to that? How does this tension affect the structure and the size of the state? One set of questions will refer to the externalities or the problems that arise when there is this mismatch between the economic and political borders. Um, the literature has focused mostly on one set of externalities, which are uh, terms of trade externalities, how the governments attempt to manipulate prices in favor of their own citizens, uh, firms and uh, households. Another externality that I want to focus is an externality that relates to enforcement externality, which is something I have already worked with my colleagues here at Barcelona GSE, Fernando Bronner and Alberto Martín. I want to pursue that a little bit further as well. Another set of questions that we want to address, for example, is the question of as the state evolves into a multi-level state that has large free economic and defense areas and smaller states, how this process is going to take place? What are the issues that arise around, uh, with this process? How should it uh, evolve over time? I think that one of the most important challenges in this project is modeling. There are typically economies write models, models that are adapted to the data that you have, and then you use that models to interpret and see the data. When you analyze the evolution of the state, you don't have that many observations because there aren't that many states in the world and they evolve very slowly. So modeling becomes even more important as an interpretation tool. And this is an area where we have very few models and they are very rudimentary at this point. I think having the ERC grant is going to be crucial for this project. It will help me finance uh, some of the work that I am doing. It will help me hire uh, some students to work on this, to get data. Uh, basically, it allows me to create a small group of people that will work together with me in trying to uh, answer these questions. After the Second World War, we see the appearance of a multi-level state. A large state, uh, the European Union, that uh, regulates markets and defense, and a set of smaller states which have been fragmented, Europe has been fragmented over time into smaller states that deal with cultural uh, issues, deal with law and order, deal with the welfare state and so on. Understanding the forces that shape the new state will help us manage the transition towards the new 21st century state.